Welcome to the mud shop for just a little short, short video. I just thought I'd show you what I worked on today. Um, you can see all my texture rolling pins. I just love using them. They're so easy. And I have several others up there that don't fit on my wall. But anyway, this is what I did today. I made a bunny dish. And if you'll look, it's got some little rabbit texture, little Easter bunnies and flowers, kind of spring. But it doesn't have to be Easter. A lot of people like bunnies. My daughter is one. And I did a soap dish set. This one also has the bunny texture. It's a little smaller round one than the others I made. Here's a little plate that will go under it. I made a little cup and um, put a little strip on the front, made little bunny face buttons to match the bunny texture on it. You can see all the little flowers, those are really cute. And I made a succulent planter and it has a pin flower texture on it. And I made a little bowl with bunnies. Well, it's not really a little bowl, it's six inches across and three and a half inches tall, so it's a nice size bowl. Just right for ice cream, haha. <laughs> anyway, I put some little bee stamps on the inside, so those will be glazed to shine. And I made a little uh, spherical triangle. It's got little curved sides with the pen flower texture on it. And I thought I'd also show, some people say, well, how do you keep the top of your mugs and your cups and your bowls round. Sometimes I make them on the wheel, even though they're handmade and not thrown, um, and that helps. But other times, um, I did not use one of these wooden forms to make the bowl. I used a cutter and just, just made it. But I do use this to check and make sure that it's round. Because this is heavy, I will not go off and leave it in there, but I'll put it in every now and then and make sure that it's continuing to stay in the round. Uh, I'll remove that before I leave to go home this evening. Also, I get these little um, floral balls. This is, I believe, a four inch. And I do not take the cellophane off because the styrofoam that it's made from will mark your clay and sometimes it'll stick to the clay and I do not wipe it off I leave the little bit of clay dust on it so that it repels it now these I'll find a spot where it's smooth set it kind of firmly on there lightly tapped it I don't push it down in it uh, it's got to be able to move as the clay shrinks and as your piece shrinks so I will put one on each of these, and those I will leave because as it shrinks, it lifts up. But it's just enough pressure on it to keep it round. Sometimes as they dry, they get oval shaped, so they'll lose their round. But leaving these on top will work. Now I will cover everything with plastic uh, before I leave the shop. And a lot of times I'll lift these up, cover them with plastic, and put these back on with the plastic in between. And that also helps it so that it doesn't push down in it and um, make the piece crack. But I did a little flower feet on the succulent planter to match it. How about that? And that's what I made today. And um, I've done a few little things, improvements on storage in the mud shop lately and um, I'm really liking having the baskets with tools right here handy at my work table and I like these shelves over here to put my towels and things on extra sponges and I love these little trays here that helps me with storage with my little hand rolling pieces in my stamps uh, and you see I have a few more stamps in the making, so they all have, I've carved little textures on them. Uh, that'll be a flower. This'll be a leaf. And I'll just bis fire these. I will not completely fire them, just bis fire them and leave them. 
and here's another little tiny leaf. And that makes them like these. Here's a roller. Here's actually, this one's a double stamp. It's got a flower on one side and a swirl on the other. But uh, these are all just bisque. Just biscuit and leave it alone. So anyway, just wanted to give you a little short video on what's going on in the mud shop. I have a lot of pieces going um, under the plastic here are pieces ready to go in the glaze fire. Here's pieces that are drying. You see I have a large planter back there in the back. I have a hand carved bowl, uh, egg trays. Now these are the uh, two piece egg tray sets. They'll have a trivet. You can actually use the trivet on your counter to put a hot pot on or whatever and then use your tray to serve other things and then put the trivet on top to serve deviled eggs. So anyway, I can't get the camera up in there where it shows real well, but a few little extra bunny plates. And I'm late with some of the bunnies, but that's okay. Like I said, a lot of people like rabbits. It doesn't have to be Easter to like a rabbit. Anyway, thank you for joining me in the mud shop today for this little short video and um, hope to see you soon. Bye.